What's up, BGB family, and welcome to the very first dinner for 1v1. Most of the time, we receive many of our review copies from different publishers, but every now and then, we actually get sponsorship by our friendly local gaming store. This video today is sponsored by Highlander Games and my good friend Mo here in Bremen in the Falkenstrasse. If you're in Bremen and you need games, go check out Highlander. The customer service is unparalleled. He speaks English, he speaks German, but most importantly, he speaks games. He understands what's good, he plays games, he is not out of touch with the hobby, and he'll be able to point you in the right direction for the right game for you, your family, your play group, whatever it may be. Now, let's get to the table. And welcome to our very first Dinner for 1v1. What's up? Yeah, welcome. As you can see, it, the daylight is shining. It is not dinner time. Mm, not. So uh, for our English-speaking viewers, the Dinner for 1v1 is kind of a play on words here in Germany for the, the movie Dinner for One. Um, and because we're BGB Board Game Burger, all of our <laughs> uh, board gaming formats have to have a really fun, funny... Uh, name to go with food. So anyway, we do this format during the day normally because our kids are in school or in Kita and with a family of six, it's sometimes hard to get the date night in in the evenings, right? I'm usually really tired at night anyway. After the kids go to bed, I just want to go to sleep. Yeah. And so uh, we like to do this during the day. And because it is date night, you can tell we're speaking English. So if you're surprised we're speaking English, what? sorry, even though we can speak German regardless of how good or how bad we do it, uh, we sometimes like to take a break from that and speak in our mother language. Um, so our dinner for 1v1s will all be in English, or most of the time be in English. Um, I'm sure we'll put a symbol in something that will let you know if it ever changes. But anyway, so we have a tasty little game for you guys. We can look here on the table. We have a game called Fungi. Um, I believe the name is different. Yeah, it's like Morsel. Or... In the American yeah. version, the English version. So, But this is the bilingual, the multilingual version. And that basically means, okay, there's two sets of rule books. So, and they're using the scientific names for the mushrooms instead of um, nicknames. But yeah, so we have the British and uh, German version, and I'm gonna pack this away. And before, before you start to think that I'm about to explain the rules, let me uh, give you a little bit of a layout of this format. So we're gonna be playing the game, and while we're playing the game, we're gonna give most of the detailed rules. I'll give you a few right. things um, to uh, realize before, or I'll explain a few things before we start playing so that way you can follow along and then give details of different people to different things. Well, since I'm starting to repeat myself, we can go ahead and jump right into the game. Uh, each player starts out with two pans, and the theme of this game is that we have taken the day off. We are really stoked about it because apparently we're really enthusiastic about mushrooms. Oh, so I am. We're ready to go hiking in the forest to go find our own mushrooms, though. That's something I would never trust myself to do because I'd be afraid to poison myself oh, getting I the know, wrong right? one. But uh, the person, the people we're playing in this game are experts, and they're walking out into the forest with their trusty sticks. Here is our forest. Here are the pans yes, that we have. We're ready to cook some mushrooms, and the goal of the game is to have the most flavor points at the end, meaning we've had the most delicious, best meal out of the mushrooms, just mushrooms, and sometimes butter and cider that we can have. So, Rachel, I was gonna go ahead and say that you could start first. Oh, well, thank you, you're such yeah. a gentleman. Ladies first here. Okay. And uh, so the way this part works, just so that we can follow along, is where the shoes are, it doesn't cost you anything extra to take one of these two cards. It's free. It yeah. is technically free. But anytime you go past where the shoes are, uh, for example, here, it costs you sticks. So if you go one space extra, it will cost you one stick up to two, three, four, five, or six sticks. So Rachel will now choose to take one of these cards and turn her hand. I wonder which one I choose. Yeah, that big six pointer right there. Yeah, if it has a pan, it means it's <clears throat> six points, and the four means that there are four sticks involved, which we will explain later. That's right. So that actually. one is going to go oh. into the decay pile. Yeah, no, that's mine. Yeah, that's yeah that one's yours. So these, these two are going to move over. That one goes into the decay pile. And there's a lot of shifting cards around in the game. And so 
And then when someone takes a card from the forest, you normally always have to flip out to new cards. And like Rachel said, the numbers up here at the top will tell you how often it is in the game. Another interesting fact, because I'm going to be taking this card right here, it is a basket. This actually never goes in your hand and it increases your hand limit. We start out with a hand limit of eight in the game. That's right. And every basket increase, increases your hand limit by two. So the very next to last card will always go in the decay pile. And so we can kind of see it. We're running out of room here already. Move this over a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, we always have cards that go into the decay pile. One and two. Ooh. Ooh. Some interesting cards that we get to explain here yes. in a second. Hmm. All right, Rachel, what card interests you next? Let's see, let's see. I think I'm actually going to go for this one. Okay, interesting decision. I know. Now, let's figure out what does this moon mean? Yeah. That's a really good question since I'm about to pick it up. Of course you're about to pick it up. I you love the moon. We'll explain it. Yeah, I love the moon. It's like taking a little bit of a risk. Sometimes whenever you go and find uh, mushrooms in the night, and mushrooms apparently love the moonlight or whatever says this game. So if you take a moon card, you get to take it and immediately discard it. And then, this is already pre-shuffled, right? Yes. Oh, nice. Uh, then you immediately- Now don't trust my shuffling. It could be awful. Well, there's only one of each type of mushroom in this deck. So They're no matter true. what you do, it's technically pretty shuffled. <laughs> so uh, you take a night card, and it will give you a certain mushroom, but that can mushroom, no, you cannot. Uh -huh. That mushroom will be doubled in points, or it will count as two of those cards. And that's an interesting fact because we need at least three mushrooms in order to cook. So if you only have two mushrooms, you can't do it. But if you have this card plus another card of the same type, then you can cook. And that's also an interesting note there in this game that you're only cooking mushrooms of the same type, we're not mixing them. You only like purest form. That's right. Now, we have in our decay pile, we only have four right now. Yeah, so we have four. So that's the, that's the biggest the decay pile can be. So we'll now, Rachel one. have the choice to take all the cards in the decay pile or a card from here. Oh, 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 that's right. I could take all of them. And they all look pretty good. I mean, my hand limit is about to get big. Pretty full. But that's okay. Because... There are no poisonous mushrooms at this moment, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right, so because Rachel took the four cards, she got the whole decay pile um, just before those mushrooms went bad, and she's going to take advantage of those. But um, had she not done that, this second card here, moving into the decay pile, would have discarded all four of those cards, and a new pile would start. So at a maximum, we can have four cards in the decay pile. And I have currently six cards. And Rachel, since she took the decay pile, we'll only have to flip one card instead of two. Nice. Now, Ooh, look at that moon. Here we're at an interesting moon. impasse because there's another offer of a moon card. Moon cards are very interesting to me. Interesting. Ah, but oh, you're gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. My hand limit only. I only have one card in my hand, so it's not gonna do me too much damage to take it. Although I'm not super excited about the card I got. That happens sometimes. You take the risk, you know? Right, you take the risk. Now, I do have six cards, and I don't want to keep having six cards. So I am going to lay these in the discard pile, wherever that is. I will get four sticks, because each of those cards have two on them, and they are the exact same. So, so same whenever thing. you have two of the same type of mushroom or more of that same type, then you can get the amount of sticks it has. Now, sticks will help you buy the mushrooms that are farther away from where your feet are. So if I want any of these later on, and I mean, I have to buy them, so I use sticks. Yeah, sticks are basically thematically, Money. the further you go with your walking stick, the more mushrooms you can you can gather. All right, so you discarded cards I did. and took sticks. Now this goes. That still means that that card's going to be uh, put in the decay pile. And I think, I would like to take advantage of the card that just came up right in my area. And that will be mm, that this pretty card, choice. the Centrellus Cabarrias. Yeah, you want to even try to pronounce all these? <laughs> Not even close. 
So now we've got four cards in the decay pile. So someone doesn't pick those up, which is not likely that someone is going to try to. Mm -hmm. No, are you kidding they're me? They're going to be discarded. So these little red cards, since one went into the decay pile, this card will go temporarily into your display. It never goes into your hand. But um, as you can see here, there are five cards on there in the symbol. And that means your hand limit for uh, this turn and to the end of your next turn will be reduced by five cards. And that's a pretty big hit whenever your hand limit's important. It is a big hit. Now, these are all going to go away. So yeah. So these are going <clears> to <throat> go here and then here. Now, usually when we cook, we like to cook with mushrooms, but none of our mushrooms look like this. Uh, not often, no. no. It's yeah. usually the champion mushrooms, the normal mushrooms you find in the grocery store. Yeah, I think the more wild and interesting they are, the more expensive they get. So, like, maybe some of these we've used uh, here and there, but not super often. Hmm, I'm at an interesting moment. Why are you in an interesting moment? You want that poisonous card? I don't, I really don't oh, want don't. anything poisonous, but cards that I've collected in my hand are not out there. I don't want to give you too much information. But oh, wow. I also don't like to see these cards go for some reason. I'm always drawn to them. So I'm going to take the decay pile. So yeah, you can take the decay pile anytime you want. Naturally, it's uh, obviously better to take it whenever there are four cards you really want in there, yes. but it's not a problem to take it when there's one or two cards that really interest you. Hmm. Now, I really don't want any of those, so I'm going to lay down. I'm going to start preparing my pans for the future mushroom. Yeah, pans stay in your hand unless you decide to spend a turn to lay a pan down. Whenever you lay a pan down, all you have to do later is lay all the mushrooms down. If you decide to cook and you have a pan and the mushrooms in your hand, you can lay all those things down. You don't have to lay the pan down before you cook. Right, that's true. Yeah. But, but it helps to free up your hand limit. I agree with that. I mean, you're going to have to do something anyway, and I just don't want any of those options. Yeah, that is an interesting rule in the game. If you're able to do any of the five basic actions, you must do one. You cannot choose to pass. Oop, another poison. Yeah. That's true. Another poisonous mushroom. I am going to go and get me some sticks as well. I wasn't really excited about this night card, so I'm going to go ahead and discard it. I feel like those mushrooms are great for sticks, but they're not good for points in the future. Yeah, you discarded yours for sticks, didn't you? I did discard mine for sticks. I mean, but these right here, I mean, one point or one stick, but there are 10 of them. So if you collected all 10, that would be 10 points. But as we, uh, since we've played this before, we know that once you cook something, you can't add mushrooms later. Or extra special ingredients, which or for some reason haven't come out yet. Hey, I, I shuffled, but we don't know if it's ever good. <laughs> one, two. Okay, one more card. Good. Man, you shuffled really good. You hit all the butter and cider. It's probably all at the bottom. I mean, we're already done using them anyway. So it's my turn. It is. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, put this down. <laughs> oh wait, that was one, two, three. Okay, so that was four. So the next turn, it will be discarded. We can uh, get the other. That's right. I'm making you reach all across the table. I know, making a little bit of work. Aren't you supposed All to be right. a gentleman? Screw. Condense that a little bit. I am, I, I hate everything that's <laughs> there currently. I know. I really just don't don't like the, the forest set up, especially by my feet right now. So I'm thinking about going out and getting me one of these cards that's a little further down. But I haven't really collected any of those mushrooms yet either. I hate to see all of these mushrooms start to disappear because, you know, if you were to collect 10, after a certain point, you can add butter. And after a certain point, you can add cider. Right. And then not after another point, you can add both. After another point, you can add two cider. Right. And they do they different do point add. multipliers at the end. And so. And there are a lot, a lot out of the, uh, on the board right now. Yeah, I normally just don't really play off the tiny points strategy because they're, they, they steal all of your hand. Limit. Right. Um, 
My hand limit is still at 10. I only have three cards. There has only been one pass game. Yeah. So mine is still only I'm, at eight. I'm, I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to spend a stick over I here. I think you should. And I'm going to go and get <laughs> one of these. Have you been collecting these? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> oh, great. He doesn't notice me. Oh, how's that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't notice the mushrooms you're collecting, so. All right, so this whole pile will get discarded. Now we're at war. So I just want to say that the first time we played this game, I won. That's true. But usually on camera, it seems like I always lose. So we'll see <laughs> if I will have this, that losing streak. We turned over a new leaf, baby. This is a Jennifer 1v1. I know. That poisonous one needs to be turned around, though. <laughs> is that it's messing with you? It's going to be the right direction, huh? Yeah, baby. Hmm. All right. So what's going to happen now? I don't know. There's a lot of these mushrooms out. So why not collect them? So you're going to take one. Okay. I'm going to take one. Hmm. You know, you can keep moving them down, baby. I was thinking. I was thinking about my turn already. Now, usually how long is this game? I mean, it is two players. I think this game lasts between 30 to 40 minutes. Which just seems like a great game if you want to go on a, you know, on the road. Yeah, it's camping. relatively re relaxing. Yeah. doesn't require a lot of explanation. And for us, that's great. I mean, we like to travel. And having something that is a small box. That was my idea that you just did. So having something that is a small box <laughs> um, is easy to pack in your suitcase and then have something when you're bored of each other. Bored of each other. I don't get bored of you, babe. Oh, thanks. Wow. Maybe I didn't, you know, shuffle very well. So that's going to go there. And we'll keep scooting these down. You can help me out, too. I'm going to help you. Don't worry. Ah, thanks. You're such a charmer. Ooh, there's another one of those big pointers that Rachel had already collected. <clears throat> you remember that? I do, I remember that. It's going to be hard. There are three of those mushrooms out there, those good three pointers. But it says on the top that there are only four. So are you going to collect all of them, baby? What well, makes you think I want to collect those? Why are you uh -huh. all up in my strategy and stuff, Because bro? You, you touched your sticks. I touched <laughs> I, 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 Yeah. I tilted my hand a little bit there, touching my sticks. My walking sticks, people. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. I must say, these, the artwork on these cards is really pretty. One, two. So, one, two. Oh, he went for him, ladies and gentlemen. I took it. You can just set those on top of each other since there's so that would reduce your hand limit by 10, I believe. That's kind of hard. Sometimes it's a bummer in this game whenever you can only take one mushroom at a time. All right, I'm going to discard these two, so I'll get two sticks. I could have two sticks, and why not? Two sticks for you, okay? And so that goes over here, <clears throat> that is now four. In the discard pile. Hey, look, babe, yours is, you know, in front of your feet, too. Yeah, we're not having to spend any sticks for that, huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I did not shuffle very well. You did great. This is, <laughs> it, it gives you a different type of challenge whenever all the Every cards come out. Every single time. And if you don't know how the cards are coming out, this is one of those games where it's like, okay, shuffle, not shuffle uh, very well. It's still all random. You don't know what's exactly. going to happen. That's true. There's no reason to anticipate you that the cards would ever do this. You too well. I don't know if that's a thing that you just <laughs> but we'll pretend like it exists. That was four. Okay. Okay. So I am going to use my stick once you, you know, set it all up for my round. Wow. Oh my goodness. I did not shuffle. Oh, there's, there's a first a cider. cider. So I may, while well, I'm doing my turn, babe, do you want to explain the cider? Yeah, so the cider just came out, and um, as long as you have five or more of the same mushroom that you're cooking, you're allowed to also add a cider to it, and at the end of the game, when we're counting up points, it will give you an extra five points. Just okay. right there. Just right there. That easy. It's super good. Okay, so I just pick up one, and one is decaying, so that means we need two out, I believe. 
on the okay. hill. Okay. Where'd you take from? I took from right there. Okay. Right here. I spent one stick. One stick. You got that. I wanted to get it. Man, yeah, it's so funny. Yeah, we don't even have the baskets up here out front. I was. Oh I got the first one, and I've been living high, living high with a ten card hand limit, and I'm about to fill up that hand limit right now. I hope you got some good cards because there's no way you can get rid of your hand limit. Yeah, that's right. So what are you gonna do? I think I'm going to collect one of these beautiful mushrooms. Ooh, that's another three set of three points. See if you can gotta catch them all, you know? Oh, Pokemon, yay. Pokemon and mushrooms. Now I do wanna see what I would like to taste in the future. Some of these mushrooms. I mean, we are playing a game about mushrooms. It would be super, super interesting to see what they taste like. Do I need to move these now? Yes, you do. Does another one need to come up? Yes, just one, I believe. Actually, I don't think I added one. Yeah, that needs to move down as well. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Finally, another cow one. Yeah, I'm very scientific. I, I call that mushroom the cow one. I know, right? Math so hard. <laughs> Math is hard. Hey, look, that's, that's good. good. I don't want to use my stick though for that. Are I'm you cool. sure? Yeah. Hey, the side is really close. You only have one stick left. Yeah, yeah. You're right. But my hand is full. Well, that means you have to play. So I have to do something else. You could uh, try to get some more sticks. Yeah, stealing is, is tough there. Now, I think there are quite a few of these in the discard pile already, right? Yes, there are a few of those. So there's not really much point on playing on trying to get a large number of those mushrooms. So I'm going to free up my hand limit here a little bit and go for broke and discard. Ooh, how many did you put Three of those. Three. Oh, just One, three sticks. Two, three. Yeah, it doesn't give you many sticks and it doesn't give you many points. Well, I guess Alexis told me to make lunch. Thank you, Alexis. <laughs> it we'll is. Do it in a minute. <laughs> if you don't mind, we'll finish this game. <laughs> Maybe some mushrooms this time. Well, I did not take any cards from the force, so we'll only be flipping one card. Oh, another basket. Oh, looky there. Rachel's streak on. Ooh. Multiplying the same card over and over again continues. I'm at a dilemma, babe. <laughs> what dilemma are you at? Uh, you haven't cooked in a long time, and you've been collecting and collecting and collecting. What you gonna do? I want to eat. But... What? But is your hand too full? <laughs> no. You got too many mushrooms? So your eyes bigger than your stomach, as we say? How do you have enough space for that? One, two, three. Wait, let's see. I have five. Oh, yeah, that's true. That would be eight. Exactly eight. That's exactly your hand limit. So as long as you're, <sighs> you're prepared to discard something no. on your next turn. I'm going to discard two of these. I want to get this one. Ooh, you want the big boy. Oh, okay. And that was my dilemma because Matt has three out oh, of man you're breaking my heart with the, those really as a relatively high pointers point cards right there three points for every one of those that you have whenever you cook them and that's nine points that is just sitting there like waiting to be cooked nine points is a lot in this game and i know for sure that the other two are in the pile because they're right in my hand oh my goodness and i will and you, never and you mean collecting them I have been collecting. Are you sure you want to do it? You did? Well, if I... It's having worse and worse all the time. We've already revealed you cards, so I guess it's too late, huh? Right. Well, I mean, I could always put it back, but I'm afraid that if I went for those, you would take my cards. Oh. And because it says on this that there's only three of them, there's six points where, uh, each. Now, I didn't do the math. I could have just wasted a whole bunch of, <clears throat> you know, points. Yeah. Definitely, because I don't want that card at all. I was going to take this cider. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Nobody gets those points. That will actually go in the discard. Yes, it will. But I will need to start cooking. Yeah, cider? There's a butter. Oh, butter's finally into play. Well, you, when I play, you can discuss the butter. No. If you have four four or more cards, you could add a butter to um, the mushrooms that you're cooking. That will give you an extra three points at the end of the game. 
Now with the butter and the cider, the reason why um, it doesn't bother my cooking thing right now is because this set of mushrooms only has three, with the three at the top. Because it only has three, I will not be able to use mushrooms or cider to right. cook my lovely mushrooms. So it's just good to just cook. It's also important to note that uh, whenever you're counting the cards for a bonus, you can only count them one time. Meaning if I did have five cards or five of the same type of mushroom and I use that to uh, get this cider, I could not also do the butter. I would have to have four more cards right. added to that to do the cider and the butter. And we've never done that before. Yeah, at 10 cards, you can add the cider in. At yeah, eight cards, you could add two butters. Right. So yeah, some crazy mul point multiplying, but I'm, I'm not gonna get too fancy. I am, however, going to finally cook something. Oh, nice. Uh, and it has to do with the very first night card that I drew at the mm -hmm. beginning night of this card. game. So this night card will count for double. So that counts as two cards. Counts, now I have three of them, and now I have four of them, Ooh, and now I have five of them, and I now have the ability to add this cider. So I know that not all of that is probably in frame. Game, guys. That's pretty good, you know, pretty good, pretty good uh, little point multiplier there. Let's see how much of this I can get in front of the camera. Yeah, sometimes the the amount that you have just takes up the whole page, the whole screen. Right. Yeah, and now I'm back down to two, three cards in my hand, so yeah. that's a good deal. Ooh, a basket. You know what I'm going to go for? What are you going to get, man? I'm going to go for the basket. Rachel needs some improvement in her hand limit, big time. I have not really used up all my Oh, all. man. Had I waited, I would have not done much else the rest of the game. I know, I right? I'm going to take this. So this one is going to go in the decay pile. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell the folks at home, Rachel, why the move you just made wasn't the best. I don't know. I'll tell them why. Because there are two pans in here. I used the only pan I had to cook. So <laughs> now I have the ability to cook again. And I have a I automatically <laughs> get plus two added to my hand limit. I'm gonna move some things around here. This is, this is my side of the board, okay? This is your side. You only have it there. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, so now I have some pans, and as you know, I've already collected one of the cow mushroom cards, the technical name for it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Wait, what are you not gonna try? To get the names? <laughs> to pronounce it right. <laughs> well, there you go. We haven't seen another moon card in a while. It's not the two, the only two up that we're out there. Which is normally what you do. I don't like them now. No. Hmm. Well, here's the question Do I want this cider? Yeah, and for all of you, who are watching this, why don't you write us a little note in the comment. What do you think about mushrooms? I know for our kids it can be pretty hit or miss. There are one or two kids in our family that really despise Texture. them. And there's really probably all three don't really love them. But there's one kid that we have and she eats everything. Oh, yeah, Noah she eats does. everything. Even Absolutely wasabi everything. peanuts. Actually all of our kids eat wasabi All the kids peanuts. find the wasabi peanuts really interesting. Like disgusting. But the... Uh, the Noah eats sushi, she eats kale, she eats whatever we put in front of her, that kid will eat. And she really enjoys mushrooms, onions, savory things that we like. Even whenever like the food tastes awful, she's like, mmm, yummy. Like you can tell she's trying so hard to try to please us. And it's like, okay, sweetheart, you don't have to have second. Like you can tell her, but I don't like it. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's one of our it's just a thing with our girls. Now, I use that stick to grab the, the blister. Stick. Oh, okay. I was wondering why it was laying in my in your area. little area. Yeah. Now we're in an interesting situation again where... Did you reach your hand limit already? No, not at all. My hand limit is now at 12. Well, my hand is at 4. But these cards are looking really fine over there in the decay pile. It, we just can't let them decay. That wouldn't be right. I'm surprised you did not go 4. Go for what? The cider. I, I, I really it's don't have... Five? I, I'm not set up to have five just quite yet. And that takes a spot in my hand limit. That'll actually go into the decay as well. Oh, that mushroom. 
corn mushroom. Now that is the last mushroom of that kind. So if you take it in your hand, it's going to stay there basically until the end of the game. Unless, oh wait, yeah, that's true because you have the hand. Yeah, I already played the night card, so there's really no other way to get rid of that card, except for, that is a nice thing oh, about the poisonous mushrooms. True. If you have cards that are trash, that you're like, okay, I really got to get rid of these because they're killing my hand limit, playing, grabbing one of these red cards will, is the only way you can use to discard your cards. Yep. Now, do you want to cast that or make cast for Yeah, it's my turn again, isn't it? It is your turn, that sucks. Hmm. Now, see, I already have... Cast irons. Some cast irons. Me. I think I'm going to be patient, you know? I'm mm -hmm. going to play one of the cast irons I have, breathe my hand a little bit. That is true. I mean, are they cast irons or are they just pans? They look like cast irons. I mean, it might be a non stick, you, you know? That yeah. aluminum is pretty easy to take in the forest. But if you look at just how it looks like, it looks like a beautiful cast iron skillet. Now, we can't. That's because we had you on this cast iron skillet. We do a. Uh, <laughs> And our cast irons never look this pretty. Oh, we're super bad at using our cast iron. Our patient. sister in law has a beautiful one, and ever since we saw hers, I mean, she said that it took a while for it to be beautifully seasoned, but we like, we're like, okay, we can do this, and we can't. <laughs> it's gonna take those pretty mushrooms, huh? Damn. But we still have it in our heads that one day mm. ours might look as, just as good as hers. Okay. I mean, it's nice to having something that's non-stick that won't poison you with all the flakes that go in your, your food. Are you talking about Teflon? Yeah. You worried about getting some sort of metal poisoning? Yes. I'm going to take another one of these moo cows. Okay, there are four here, so those <coughs> are all going to be discarded. That goes in the decay pile. I do not want anything decaying right now. <laughs> that decay pile is scaring you, huh? Yeah. It's funny that you can still get food out of the decay pile. Like for me, I think of compost already to the point. Oh, hey, look, there's a moon. It's not quite. It's not. It's not quite yet. It made it to the compost. When we discarding them, they're going into the compost. Or well, I guess they're composting in the forest. So the decaying is like, ooh, that mushroom's going a little bit bad, but it's not quite bad enough to not eat anymore. Yeah. Now I remember whenever we went on our honeymoon, we got to go to Alaska, and. My favorite part, so we did the Alaskan cruise, and my favorite part was this excursion mm -hmm. where we got to go um, backpacking. Or it was not backpacking, it was hiking. Look at all those moons, babe. Um, and this guy studied plants. I don't remember what. Ecology. Yeah, and so we were going through this, this beautiful trail, and he let us drink water from the glacier of the river, and he was showing us these mushrooms. And so when I think of mushrooms, this is the closest thing I can think of. Because he said it was edible, and there's these, these beautiful yellow ones growing on trees. What what, what did he call it again? I don't remember. Chicken of the woods. I mean, you looked at it. It was on the ground, and you said, "Wow, that mushroom looks like it." <laughs> there was one in the trees. There was one on the ground. They were all over the place. So the one I saw was on the ground. But you asked him. You said, "What is that mushroom?" I remember exactly. You said, "What is that mushroom?" It looks like a chicken. He said, "It's called Chicken of the Woods." That's its nickname. That was pretty fun. That was almost 10 years ago. Yeah, that's a nice little anecdote. I'm trying to think. It was a beautiful hiking trail. About what will happen here. Will happen. So there's something I want. So one of those cards will go, and then they'll slide down. Then another one of the girls' cards will go, and then they'll slide down. And maybe the thing I want will be right there. He wants the moon card. He mm. always tries to collect moon cards. Which isn't a bad thing, because they are worth a lot of points. If you can have, if you have the right card. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a stick. Some butter. Oh, butter. Butter. That's the king. Oop, you saw my cards. Oh, I didn't look. Oh, good. It's okay. I'm about to cook. Okay, ready to go. This is what I'm. So I have a butter with four beautiful. Can't find the fifth one. Four beautiful mushrooms. Yeah, you gotta discuss those a little bit together to do it in the frame, though. Yeah. Sorry. That's all good. Just know that there's butter in there. There's butter down there somewhere. There's butter and it's sizzling. All it's right, so, so hot. This card will be discarded. There's now four cards in the in the decay pile. Well, moon for free. Wow. 
Moons, moons, moons. Now, have you? <clears throat> have I what? You've only gotten two, right? And you've only yeah, and one. I've discarded one, and did, I played the other. Did you, by chance, get any of mine? Do you have? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I guess you'll have to find out later. I'm actually not going to play on a moon card yet. I'm going to play on security here. But see, here's the question. What's the question? If I don't play on the moon card, maybe you get the, the moon card that I want or need. That's true. That is the question. Either way, it's a risk. Isn't all games a risk? Mm. All games are not the game of risk. Not that game. I don't like the game. Yeah. Now, these, have, have you seen any of these discarded yet? Yes. Ooh. And there's only four of them. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's actually what I'm collecting right now. Cool. So, I think I need the guarantee. The discard, or the DK pile, will be now discarded. Very Over cool. here, now there will be a moon in the decaying. Apparently the moon can decay in this game. That, that's the thing. It happens. But it'll be okay for you because if I choose a moon, then the other moon will go in the, disc uh, the DK pile, and then he'll have two moons. That could happen. That could happen because look, taking that one. Let me ask you a question before you do that. What's your question? Maybe you don't see the strategy. What if you just took the moon out of the decay pile? But then both of them, one will go. Think about it. Take that one. That will go there. That one will go. Ah. Then I can only steal one moon card. Oh, I was too late. <laughs> you were too late? Is that the wrong is that the wrong mushroom? Is it the one I wanted? I mean, I'm never gonna tell. I don't know. You'll find out at the end of the game. But yeah, so if you had taken the one that was in front of your feet, then you wouldn't have been able to take the one. Then there would be two in the decay pile. Right, but, but now because you took from the decay pile at the right time, there's only one in there. And now I won't get to snack two, I'll only get to snack. One. Did you say snack? Snag. Oh, snack, snack on. Okay. Oh, mama. Oh, I think you got it. Ladies, oh, and, ladies and gentlemen. We are in business now. Okay, you can do the rest of those then. Whew, I am close to my hand limit. My goodness gracious. I'm going to take this moon. Smart gal. It's going to go there. Look at us snatching up all those moon cards. I do like a midnight stroll. If I can get food out of it, why not? Midnight <clears throat> snacks are the best, after all. I think our I think our items like the moon. You might wanna. Are we moving down? We... Yes. Because I took Excuse the moon. Me. Do we have eight? But I think we have seven. Hmm. As you can tell, Ooh. we really need to start generating some points here because we're getting pretty close to the end. And this game ends whenever all the forest cards, all the cards from the forest, have been taken. Taken. Were you thinking about the movie in the moment I said the word taken? <laughs> so I'm actually going to move this down a little bit because I can place a pan at the same time as I'm cooking. I'm going to go ahead and use that option. There's going to be a butter there. Mm, so it's going to give me some point multipliers. Boom. 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 And you might be thinking, wait, Ark, you only got three. He probably has that mushroom. One. Yeah, I did find the night one that I really wanted. That's just and so that, that's actually one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five oh. of that card. Now, this is going to go. So I'm pretty jazzed about it. Yeah. Show me your jazz finish. I, I don't have those. <laughs> you open it. Clever. <laughs> All right, Rachel, what you gonna do? Hmm. Um, I don't really wanna spend my last stick. So I'm just gonna take like this one. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll see. We can keep going. I'm gonna let you do the rest of the work. Yeah, I'm thinking, 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 thinking sauce over here. Now, let me ask you guys another question. Have you ever, I get the butter, but have you ever cooked your mushrooms with cider? No. That's a new thing for me. Apple cider vinegar, maybe. Yeah. But yeah. even then, I don't put a lot of vinegar in my mushrooms. I'm only trying to make a creamy sauce out of them. But do you like a little sweetness, especially with butter? And, oh, you know, you don't want to 
You don't want to do that. Why not? That was my idea. <laughs> Dang it. I tried to be, you know, just calm. It's not a big deal about it. And it's like he, he reads my thoughts. I, I just see what cards are good. And then I go, <gasps> I'm going to take those cards because I like them. Because he likes them. That's how I roll. Better. Okay. Cool. We're in business. It's your turn. No, I don't really want any of those others. So I'm going to discard those. I'm going to get two sticks. Oh, man, oh, man. But there's no reason to keep them because... Had you the ability to cook these, though, it would have been six points right there. Why just this? Two sticks, though. There you go. There's, there's your sticks. This will go on the discard pile? Yes, it will. Oh, man, there's a moon card right there. Right there. Could go get that night card going. What are we going to do about that? Oh, another moon oh, card. Oh, another moon card. Now, see, there are only eight night cards, and there are only eight moon cards in the deck. So the moment one goes discarded, it's gone. Like, if it goes to the decay pile and then gets discarded um, whenever there's four more cards in the decay pile, it, it, it just leaves, and then you never get the chance to see that night card again. Now, I've been burned by searching for this particular night card before. You're probably going to get it. There are only two more night cards. So there's two chances left. 50-50. Yeah, it's a tough decision only because you do have to be careful about the hand limit. Are you concerned about the hand limit? I'm not, I'm not super concerned. I'm okay because my hand limit's at 12. I only need one pan to accomplish what I think I'm trying to accomplish here. Now, there, there's only 13 pans in the game. So if you run out of pans... You can't cook anymore. It's over. You can't... Yeah, you don't get any more pans. But I'm going to go ahead and take the risk and go get me one of these night cards here. You know, this game has just gone bananas for me. <laughs> Why is it gone? Oh! Oh Lord. no! There, it, I thought it was in the discard. You said it was discarded. Maybe that was another game. <laughs> <laughs> I trusted you. I trusted but myself had, too. Had I had I waited this long, oh. my hand limit would have been uber full. Like I would have had no chance to to make that. Do we uh, decay one? Yes. Okay, cool. So it's back to you. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I will say the card that I have hated the last uh, two games. I'm now back. We're I'm, I'm friends with it again. You're friends with it. That's good. Ooh, I, I didn't think about that cider going into the decay. That wasn't good. Okay, you can move the other two and then bring two up. The last oh, two cards. The last two. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't those just useless at those this point? Those are useless, and I should have never pulled out this other or taken this other caster. <laughs> I was actually I mean, hoping can, that these can have one That more. was your turn, right? So now we're to me. Yes. If I'm remembering correctly. You are remembering well. I don't... I don't have enough room. And see, that's an interesting fact, too. You cannot take the decay pile unless you have enough room in your hand. I currently have nine cards, but my hand limit is set at 12 because of my two baskets. If there was another basket here... Oh, then perfect. I could take it. But they're at the end. But the only card, the only card, they're at the end, unfortunately. The only card I truly wanted out of those was the cider. Yeah. But I don't need the cider to do what I want to do. I don't want to miss out on this guaranteed card here. Since I've been collecting them, these will actually be discarded now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You got a moon at your doorstep. Are you still searching for a particular moon card? There's actually two more. So you still have a chance to not get the moon card you wanted. Here you go. <laughs> but I should have kept the other cards that I got. <laughs> it's not the one you wanted? Oh no! The ones that I traded in for the, the sticks. If I would have just kept them just a little bit longer, yeah, Give me it's, your card. it's your card. You keep it. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, so here's a timing factor issue here. You have to cook before all the cards are gone. So here's the part where you either take maybe a little bit of a risk and get more cards. 
but soon it may all be gone. Uh, so you didn't draw the card that you wanted. No. I'm guessing. So you really want that moon card. I'm guessing. No, you can have it, Jane. I don't really want the moon card because it really just collects more stuff for me that I'm not trying to gather. I have three moon cards. And I you do really? I have you have three moon cards? <laughs> That's not good. And I what are you going to do with all this? I can only use one. <laughs> You've just been over there collecting moon cards, filling up your hand limit. Hey, I like the dark. All right, I'm going to make a decision here and move this game along. I'm going to get some butter, double check my hand limit. I'm ex at exactly my hand limit now. So, if I take this moon card, mm -hmm. just cut, Yeah. will I be able to cook next round? Yeah. So I have one I, more round. Well, think about it. I have to cook. I've got a pan ready. I've collected all these delicious morsels here. But if I take this and that one goes down, I mean, I guess they still are technically in the decay pile. So the way the game is worded is that if you have the opportunity to do something, you must do it. Before right? This. So the only time you wouldn't have to cook is if I have the must option of taking the decay pile and that leaves no more forest cards out there at all. But I still have to cook. So this card is just gonna simply move down, I just and then you're gonna get the moon. You wanted to see too. Oh yeah. I, I didn't look at it though. Oh, I don't need it. <laughs> you, it's you don't need it. What an interesting way you're playing this game today. I just wanted you know to take a midnight nice stroll. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, well, so now we need to decay that card, right? No, because I took one. And this one's decayed, and that one's there. I it's see. Your turn. Okay. It will be decayed. Okay, so I'm gonna use my turn to cook some more oh, butter. tasty morsels. And yeah, I get to use some butter. And uh, yeah, I finally have gathered enough of them to think, oh yeah, this will be a big point maker and make a, a huge difference. So let's count uh, one, two, you were looking at three, one time. four, five. I just lost the game. Six. Again. Seven, card. eight. So I got that night card in there that doubles it as well. Nice. So I'm killing. Killing on points. And Rachel's killing on night on night <laughs> cards. So, <clears throat> so sad. Okay, so I have a night card that I will be using, but I have no butter or cider to make it tasty. Oh, no. But I highly recommend that butter and that cider. I do, too. But I only have three. Okay. So did you cook though? I did cook. All right. So now we're at a situation where I have to either cook or I have to take the rest of the cards that are there. I don't have any more pans and there are no more pans out here. So I have to take this out here. Can you still cook or no? I cannot. I just have okay. my cards left. So I've got these cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're useless. They're in my hand. I'm just going to go ahead and discard them. And now we are going to count up our points. Rich, would you like to go first in counting points or do you want... Me to start off. Well, let's just, you know, get mine over with. Probably get it a over with. Oh, man. So that is uh, a beautiful set right there. It's six points each. So that's 18 points. Um, you know, I'm not good with math, but so. So far, so good. Yeah, then that would be 10 points. So then 12, 14, 16, and that would be 17, 18, 19 points so far those two sets, and then mm -hmm. that would be 19, 20, 102, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, and 6, 7, 2, 8. So we're sitting at 28 points with you, right? Let's see that. Okay, baskets and sticks and things like that do not count for extra points at the end of the game. Uh, if there were a tie, we'd only break the tie based upon how many mushrooms were collected, I think. We've never had a tie, so I don't remember. If I'm wrong, I'll put a little comment underneath what I just we'll said right there. <laughs> the magic of editing. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and count up my points. Then we've got, don't really need that, but uh, these are each three points a piece. So three, six, nine, 12, 15 points, plus an additional five will put me up at 20 oh. for my very first. Now these two can only equal eight points and then we're tied. Let's actually do it in the direction of the camera. Yeah, because these are two. So these all totaled out to 15. I mean, you gotta have one of these to make it happen. But so 15 plus five is 20. Now here 
we have we'll, we'll learn math. Uh, here we have another set of so I'm at 20. Please help me remember. So here we go. Four, eight. Wait. That's eight. This was already eight. Mm -hmm. This is twelve. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Sixteen plus four is twenty. Right, 20, duh. <laughs> 20. 23. And then so we're at 23. So I'm currently at 43 points. Oh, man. Oh. And now we have the, the cow la la. so bad. The cow mushrooms. So how many am I at? 20. 43, <laughs> right? And so these are each two points apiece. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 16. 14, 16, plus another three. 16 is 19. So that would be 19, plus 43. That would be 22. Wait, how much was that for you? 52. <laughs> it would be 52. Yeah. Because nine steals one from the three to become right. 10. Hey. We've been working on math with our kids. <laughs> Homeschooling is tough, y'all. But we're getting there. Well, we're not really homeschooling, but with that pandemic and, and all, uh, off and on, the kids are stuck at home when we have to do uh, Our education is so have to, good. We have to teach them. And yeah, so then you have to go back and be like, what, how do I do addition again? I've been using a calculator for years. No, that's not embarrassing at all. Anyway, what is embarrassing is that Rachel lost so hard, but I guarantee you she probably had more fun than I did. But no, I'm just kidding. We had lots of fun because we got to hang out together. So 53 to what did you have again? <laughs> I had a good try. <laughs> Wait, it's 52. And Rachel had a good time. So uh, we really appreciate that you watch this video. Please answer our questions in the comments. Tell us what you like to do. Have you ever cooked mushrooms with cider? Do you think that you would ever play this game? I know it looks beautiful, but is the theme enough to really catch your eye? Are you into it? Because I guarantee you that we are. Do you want to tell people what you think about the game? First of all, I love the artwork and the, the colors and just everything. It's very simple. I like mm. the fact that you don't have to have words on a card to actually play the game. Yeah, um, sometimes really with our though. friends, because we do live in Germany, having cards or having games that are in German mm -hmm. and we're playing in English are sometimes crazy or vice versa. But with this, you can play with a lot of different people yeah. and because there are no words. It just makes the game simple. Plus, our kids can even play this because it has no words. It just has the symbols and the numbers. And the math would be a little hard for them at this point, though. Yes, We'd have to we help them out with that. We coach them up a little bit. You know, yeah. when we play with them, we let them know, okay, that's a good idea. And, you know, if you want to play better games with your kids, that's the biggest, uh, um, I can only think of the German word, in failure. It's the biggest recommendation that I can give is when you play with them, be nice to them. Yes. And help Patience. them understand what a good move is and a bad move is. And, you know, for a while there, it's going to feel like you're kind of playing against yourself because you're helping them so much. But over time, they really begin to start catching on. And uh, next thing you know, they crushed you without you helping them. And you're like, how do they do that? That's our oldest son. But let them lose. It's good for them to lose. Yes, we are of the school that we don't, we don't let them, you know, win. win very often. But then they try so much harder. Unless you really want to get a game over. us. Anyway, so uh, like yeah, this game is, like Rachel said, very multilingual friendly. Um, it packs down very small. It's a two player only game. It plays in about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, it's got a lot of advantages for a two player game in that it's made for two players in that you can feel that. Throughout the whole game, I felt like there were really good, tough decisions. Oh, it was and, so hard. And sometimes this game, you know, you play on the risk, right? There's a little bit of luck, but the luck is the risky part in taking a night card, or maybe I'll take this card, and then when it goes in the decay pile, I'll take it again. But if somebody else takes the decay pile, like I did, then you maybe miss out on that chance. And um, one of the things I really love about board games is the puzzle, or card games even, is the puzzle, and it's the tension that's built between the different decisions and possibilities that you can act upon in the game. So. Really interesting mechanism for making your hand bigger. Really interesting timing questions about the game. Um, a game that is small and really well packaged and really well designed. There's a lot of strategy involved in it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I feel like the replay value there for us is absolutely a big plus. And you can knock it out over 
cafe pause, what we have here in Germany. We you love know? coffee break. We, we take a coffee break, we play this game, have a nice little enjoyable time. But yeah, I think mm-hmm. I've had my nice tasty mushroom snack. Now for the main course. Yeah, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell. Um, if you're looking for German content, we have those too. The German comment uh, content, the thumbnails do not have flags or any symbols on them indicating that they're in German, but the English things will because uh, we probably do the majority of our, our videos in German, but we also want to make content for people who don't speak German and, you know, we have the ability to speak some English. So our American family and friends back home, thank you for watching. Thank you, guys. Those of you that are bilingual and can speak English, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on our next date for dinner for 1v1. Bye.